So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about SRA, XLA and eSIM connectivity. So SRA, XLA and eSIM connectivity requires one SRA card, one SLA card and one eSIM card. All these cards are at same location and used for two directions. One direction is used for the SRA card and one direction is used with SM card. So I have taken this as a circuit reference in which we will focus on this part eSIM, XLA and SRA connectivity. So let's see the circuit diagram example. So this is the complete DWDM signal flow in which all the required DWDM equipment is placed here. And we will focus on this part eSIM, XLA and SRA connectivity. So you can see yes, these all three equipment are at one location and uh, this eSIM is connected with the far end limb card and this SRA is connected with the far end SRA card. So this eSIM and this SRA card so right side you can see in this SRA card right side port is used to connect the far end or you can say the outside fibers and here eSIM uh, left side port is used to connect with the far end limb card or from the outside fiber. So eSIM provide one direction here and SRA provide one direction here. So in this uh, blue part we will focus on this internal connectivity of eSIM and XLA card XLA and SRA card so how these two card how these three card is connected with each other we will focus which port of the eSIM is used to connect the SLA card and which port of the SRA is used to SLA card and which port is used can be used to connect the SLA SLA and eSIM and XLA and SRA card we will all these things will discuss in this video so here First, we will see the eSIM and XLA connectivity and then we will show you the XLA and SRA connectivity and then all these two, all three together, how it is connected, we will show you. So let's see XLA and eSIM connectivity. So <clears throat> here, this is our complete DWDM signal flow diagram in which we will uh, focus on this XLA and eSIM connectivity. So hey, you can see this is the XLA card here and this is the eSIM card. So you can see here the SLA signal from the SRA card. You can see this is SRA card. So signal from SRA card is connected to port number eight and port number seven is connected to port number six. And from port number five, it is going to the another end. In the same way, the signal is coming from far end is connected to port number eight, port number seven is connected to six, and again, port number five is connected to the SRA. So in today's video, we will, uh, in today's, uh, in this section, we will focus on XLA and eSIM connectivity. So you can see here, this is the XLA card. This is a complete line diagram in which all the physical port is present. You can see here port number five, six, which is associated with line B and port number eight, seven, which is associated with line A. And port number one and two is used for the monitoring port. You can see here port number one is monitoring for line B and port number two is monitoring for line two. In the same way, you can see here, this is the eSIM card and all the physical port as present here port number five and six so i have already uh, said that port number five and port number six is all, all always associated with line b and port number seven and eight is associated with line a so if we are talking about line a we are talking from port number four port number eight and seven if we are talking about line a in it will be port eight if we are talking about line a out it will be port number seven so you can see here Port number five and port number eight is used to connect the far end or outside fibers and signal from SRA, which is coming to line A in, is going from line A out, is connected to port number six, line B in of the eSIM card. And here line A out of the eSIM card is connected to line B in, port number six of XLA card and going from port number five, line B out and connected to uh, SRA card. So this is all about XLA and eSIM connectivity. Uh, let's see the SRA and XLA connectivity. So an XLA circuit pack is must always be paired with an SRA circuit pack, Raman span or long, long span. So if you are uh, uh, using the Raman or long span, the SRA circuit pack is used with the XLA card. And if we are using the short span, we will use the SAM or ESAM circuit pack with the SRA card. So in this section, we will discuss about this SRA to XLA connectivity. You can see here, this is the SRA card and this is the XLA card. So XLA port number five is going out and connected to port number six SRA in and port number seven out is coming to uh, connect to port number eight in of the XLA card. In all the amplifier, if you notice, there is always only a port number five, six, seven, eight, which is used for line uh, <coughs> signal in and signal out. So port number five and port number seven is always used for uh, 
signal out and port number eight and six is used for the signal in you can see here port number five is for signal out port number six is for signal in port number seven is for signal out and port number eight is for signal in so you can see here this is the sra card this is the xla card so you can see signal from far end is coming from the port number eight going from port number seven which is line a out and connected to port number eight which is the xla line a in and going out from port number seven line out which is going to uh, ESM or SRA. You can see it in this section, it is going to ESM. This is signal coming from ESM port number six, line B in is going from line B out, port number five and connected to port number six, which is the line B in of SRA card. And then line B out, which is going to far end of the, uh, or you can see the outside fiber or to the another uh, site. So this is all about the SRA and XLA circuit pack connections. Let's see how all the three are connected together. So in SRA, XLA, ESM connectivity, the XLA, the XLA can be connected in two way to the SRA and ESM. SRA port number seven and six. So you already know port number five and port number eight is fixed for the outside fiber or to the far end. So the remaining port, port number seven and six is used to connect the XLA card. So this port number seven and six is used to connect port number eight and five of XLA. And ESM port 7 and 6 is connected to port number 6 and 7 of XLA. And second, SRA port number 7 and 6 is used to connect the port number 6 and 7 of XLA card. And ESM port number 7 and 6 is used to connect the port number 8 and 5 of XLA card. So port number 7 and 6 of the SRA and port number 7 and 6 of the ESM card is fixed or used to connect the SRA, XLA card. But XLA port number 8 and 5 can be used to connect the SRA port and it and five can be used to connect the ISM port as well. So these XLA can be used in the two way. So we will see. So SRA, XLA and ESM. You can see here, this is these all three card, how it is connected together. So SRA, XLA and ESM. You can see here, this is XRA, SRA card, this is XLA card and this, this is ESM card. So in this, uh, you can see the SRA port number seven is connected to port number eight and port number six is connected to port number five and ESM port number six and seven is connected to port number seven and six of the XLA card. So SRA, XLA and ESM connectivity, you can see here, this is a signal which is coming from the outside fibers coming inside the port number eight. From port number seven, line A out, it is connected to port number eight of XLA. And for, from port number seven, it is going out and connected to port number six of ESM. And then this is signal is going to straight fibers. You can see here, this is the outside fiber. Signal is coming on port number eight. Then port number seven, line A out is going to line B in port number six of XLA card. And from port number five, it is going out and connected to port number six, line B in of the SRA card. And then port number five, it is going to another end. So it is already explained that XLA circuit pack always must be paired with the SRA circuit pack or SAM or ESM circuit pack. So XLA, SRA and ESM circuit pack connection one. Let's see the connection one. In this connection one, SRA port number seven and six is connected to port number eight five of XLA card and ESM port number seven and six is connected to port number six and seven of XLA card. You can see here. So we will focus on this connectivity you can see port number seven and six port number seven is connected to port number eight and port number five is connected to port number six you can see port number seven and six is connected to port number eight five of xla card and in the same way port number seven and six of esm is connected to port number six and seven of xla card this is the connection one let's see the connection two You can see here in connection to port number seven and six is connected to port number six and seven. And in the port number seven and six is connected to port number eight and five of XLA. And previously it was port number eight, five, uh, which is connected to port number six, seven and six. And this connection two, you can see the port number seven and six is connected to port number seven and six of the XLA card. So here, here is the signal flow. Signal is coming. Uh, from the outside fiber connect, uh, connecting to port number eight line a in and line a out it is going to line b in port number six 
from port number 5 it is going line B out and connecting to port number 6 line B in of eSIM card and again this is from port number 5 is going to the far end or from the outside fiber. You can see it is coming signal is coming from outside fiber or at the far end con connecting to port number 8 line A in going from line A out port number 7 connecting to port number 8 of line A in of the XL amplifier. Again it is going line A out port number 7 out from port number 6 line B in and then finally it is going to far end from line B out. So here you can see the SRA is providing one direction and XL, uh, ESM is providing the one direction and XLA is in between the SRA and ESM which is used to connect these SRA and XLA together. So this is all about uh, the XLA, SRA and ESM connectivity. Thanks for watching.